So we're the Flow 02 team at UBC. So we're developing an augmented BiPAP system that can provide invasive ventilations for patients. Our system uses a BiPAP, which is available across Canada in clinics and home care settings. What we're not trying to do is redesign the ventilator. We need to supply the medical field with a concept that is cheap and quick to design. The rest of the components that we've added to this device are readily available in your local hardware store or in clinics or from online suppliers. Ventilators cost nearly uh, fifty to hundred thousand dollars, whereas the BiPAP system is about three to five thousand dollars and provide the same functional utility that a ventilator would in the clinic. The major advantage of using a BiPAP system to drive inspiratory and expiratory pressures is that these devices have been used for years safely in the clinic. They have regulatory approval, and physicians and nurses know how to use the system. We need to be able to monitor different values and parameters within our system as well as control oxygen flow. We are currently developing our own embedded system that we'll be able to mass produce and distribute across Canada and the rest of the world. School of Biomedical Engineering is by its very nature very interdisciplinary. So we work very very closely with clinicians as well as with engineers and you really need that two-way communication in order to develop uh, devices that have clinical impact. Being in a situation where you essentially feel like you can't do anything uh, for me was absolutely gut-wrenching. Myself living with two high-risk individuals as soon as I heard of the COVID-19 crisis uh, it piqued my interest in beginning to think how can I help and there's a real anxious feeling not being able to do something and so getting that opportunity is sort of the best part about this project. As an engineer, this challenge in developing a ventilator was an opportunity for us to also get involved and be able to support our healthcare system. This is going to have applications around the world in low resource settings where a $50,000 ventilator is just not possible.